After more than 30 years on the bench, one of the most well-known judges in Kent County is retiring. 13 on your side's Julia Gorman sat down with Judge Sarah Smolensky to reflect on her career. Juliet, when Judge Sarah Smolensky first became a judge in the 63rd District Court, we were using pagers, flip phones, and floppy disks at the time. She told me today it feels like the right time to retire, but of course it's bittersweet because she loves helping people become the very best version of themselves. Thousands of cases and more than 30 years later. Now count two. Kent County 63rd District Court Judge Sarah Smolensky is retiring this summer. I feel so blessed and fortunate that I was able to be a judge for as long as I have been. She's seen everything in her courtroom from jaywalking to first degree murder. And being a judge has not been easy. And really, there are some cases that I can still get emotional just thinking about. To lighthearted moments where she showed her wit and sense of humor. And finally, he said, you know what? I can't decide because all I was doing was holding the pole. I said, well, did it have a line on it with hook and out in the water? He said, yeah. I said, we call that fishing. Did you have a license? He said, no. I said, we call that fishing without a license. It's a job that pretty much ran in her family. This is my dad. I'm the one over here. Between the judge, her dad, and brother, 56 years on the Michigan District Court bench. Since 1990, when she was first elected. There were so many years I could never say I was gay. She's seen society and her role in it shift dramatically. Being gay is part of who I am, like being a Michigan Wolverine. And when you're a judge, we need diversity on the bench. You gotta believe in yourself. You gotta be who you are. What's her favorite part of the job? Impacting people's lives has been one of the biggest joys that I've ever experienced. It's a favorite part, though, that comes from hard work by everyone involved. And when you see people that get off track for whatever reason, and it doesn't mean that they're bad people, they could be just going through a very rough time. When you can work with them, talk with them, listen to them, and you can make a difference where they actually take actions to change their lives for the better, that is a wonderful feeling to have. That outcome, she says, doesn't just benefit the people in the courtroom. Because that's only going to strengthen our community. With her last day marked for mid-July, she certainly leaves big shoes to fill, but offered this advice with high hopes. Listening to people, seeing the good in people, trying to figure out if a person can get themselves back on track, giving them that chance, giving them that encouragement, but being true and believing in yourself. Now, as for the judge's replacement, the governor will appoint that person. Here in the newsroom, I'm Julia Gorman, 13 on your side.